Let's see. Guess I go over today's checklist, huh? Hmm? Well, hello, gentlemen. Hey, Fats. Fats! I think you're here, Henry. How goes it? Good, good, good. I see you're doing good too. As usual. I don't drink, Henry. It's on me. No, no, no. That won't do. Let's talk about bills later. So, what would be? You first. You sure? Okay, dokie. I'll have one STMJ, please. I was looking at that drink earlier, actually. I believe it was over here. Milk ginger honey. One SCMJ coming up. Ah, it smells so nice. Spot on. Thank you, buds. You're welcome. How about you, sir? Oh, it's my turn. Uh, swing with ginger, please. Anything else with that? Uh, what would you recommend? Anything on your tea line is fine. Oh, I see we have a new selection. Yeah, we have blue pea and hibiscus. Hibiscus, huh? You tried to Jaha Rosalea. Pretty good recipe for Scarlet Weather. Ginger, stick with her own sound buds. Another name for hibiscus. Bit sweet. Do I have it on my list? I do. Hibiscus, ginger, and honey. Oh, damn it. Wasn't I supposed to give him his uh, item? Oh! Still got time to give it to him. Huh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's made in Lewis' wedding invitation. Really? Behind. Oh. My date's really soon. Could you please pass it on since I'm not sure where I'm be here? Okay, sure. Thank you. Five and cup of Tejaho Rosella for you. Thanks. What'd you bring, Andrew? Look any good? Uh oh. It looks about right. It smells good too. Try it. Yep, it's good. I'm glad I passed your impromptu test. What's been going on? Don't miss anything. Um, something happened, didn't it? You can say that. I think the officer's coming too, by the way. Alright. As for me, I'm just glad my fury is over. You okay, Bo? I'm fine, as you can see. How are you managing, Andrew? Did you get your checkup? I did, I did. Made your best of me to get it all week, so I had to go and do it. Good. And no doubt I need to slow down. I can feel it in my bones. Time is a hard mistress, as they say. Ain't that the truth? I don't think you get to complain, Bo. Why not? You know my body isn't what it used to be anymore. Huh? I mean, compared to my prime, 50 years ago. I'm kidding. Truth is, my body doesn't hold up well I'm transforming anymore. Is that so? Yep. The soreness doesn't go away as quick as it used to. It's hard to get up in the morning after all that. Like today. I have a feeling all too well. Especially in this kind of weather. No. So my body knows that a storm's going to get worse. No weather forecast can match the accuracy of my joints. <laughs> well, looking for you, Ginger's great for sore muscles. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, folks. The man of the hour. Hi, Georgie. Birds, what a miss. Some very important weather talk. Is that so? Sounds like it was a done man. How are you? Oh my! You're talking about my case. Well, um, I don't even know where to begin. Anyway, you know anything what about what I'm about to say, right? No. What are we talking about? But you should have found him before I got here. My bad. In my defence. I didn't know you were coming to me until Mr. Gala mentioned it. Excuses, excuses. 
I'll help explain too, Andrew. In short, sure, there's always been a string of car vendors nearby. What? I was just trying to figure out if a tree's been gone. Is anything to do with the case? That's where we are now. Yep, that's about it. That's a lot to take in. Anything new happened since? Uh, well, I tried something. I had to read candles where the tree was. It was my lighter and things happened. Mind backing up a bit. There's like a lot of context missing here. Well, I'm warning you. Everything I'm about to tell you is real. Sounds a little crazy, but no, I haven't lost it all yet. Got it? Now I'm clear. I told Woods about my lighter a while ago. Yeah, I might be connected to the fairy market we talked about before. Really? In what way? Oh, the lighter was my grandpaps. There's a chance he bought it from there. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, what a coincidence, eh? Yeah, thanks, Wonder. Anyways, my daughter likes this sort of mystery stuff, right? After talking about what's been going on, she believed my light was a key to making sense of all of it. And gave me some pointers. So, I went back there last night, to a spot, you know, where a tree used to be. Lit a few candles, put the light up right in the middle of it all. And I'll be honest, it was spooky as heck. The air was still, and I felt tension in my head. Wasn't sure if it was just me or being creeped out, or was there something else going on? Whatever it was, I thought I should leave it alone. So I followed my gun and got my heck out of there. Then what happened? It blew up. What? What do you mean, what? The lighter, it just blew up. What do you mean, blew up? Yeah, I think we definitely need more context here. Well, I didn't see it since I was walking towards my car, you see. But I heard it. But tow! Little whoosh followed by a couple of clink clinks. Patel? What kind of sound is that? You know, like something small and metallic blew up? Wouldn't bang work better? No, that's a shot. Wouldn't want to confuse you with that. But Patel, what's that? You know, Patel. Then what happened? Right, okay. But I immediately looked back and see it had fallen over with a slid open. The flame was burning white. Wow. I ain't gonna lie to you all, I freaked the freak out. But before I could do anything, two small figures emerged from the corner walking towards the lighter. Did they see you? Yeah, they did. Inspector my lighter was just standing there. They asked me straight up, Is this lighter yours, guy? I said, Yeah. And I fired a question back, Are you one who's been messing with cars around here lately? We said, Yes. Ooh. Sounds like case closed. So, they weren't ghosts? Oh no! Thank God for that! And who are they? Let's just say they were close friends with the deceased. But part of the fairy folk, didn't expect them at all. Didn't expect? Do you know them? Kinda. In fact, they own the gnome, nom gnome noms in my place. Wow. Do they know it's your car then? Nope, because they only order takeout. I usually walk there. What was the real reason for vandalism then? No starter because of a broken promise. We had to start way back with that. You remember when the tree was there in the first place, right? Yep. A tragic hit and run. At the time, a court warning practically let the drive off a hook outside the DUI charge. Where it sparked a huge protest. Good. In response to it, the mayor of the time gave his word to the victim's family. He promised to keep a tree as a landmark for all the community. And that was kept well after his tenure was over. But he died a few years ago. And we know what recently happened to that tree. I see. So was their attempt to keep the memory alive. Not just their friend, but as a remembrance of the justice as well. After all the urban renewals in the city has gone through. Makes sense if the community used to be there is gone by now. That's right. There used to be a lot of veterans housing and low-rise apartments in the area. That's filled with never-ending 
projects. You okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I think it bothers me a bit. Like what? A unique disposition after I pass. It bothers me my own memories are insufficient to ensure their existence. By failing to remember, we, the outside party, will also gradually lose track of our existence. It doesn't feel right to me. I get what you mean. Another way of existence. But apparently that's why we keep animals. But Gnome Noms only tells me I have a large mastiff in their place. Others even take care of multiple animals at once. Interesting. That's why some folk prefer living in the wilderness. But animals don't live long either. Right. The erasure starts happening if they're completely forgotten, right? Something like that, I guess. I'm not sure. Right, okay. Does that normally happen anyway? How do we pay respects to remember someone who died a long time ago? Like our ancestors, for example. In that all, isn't it? Hmm. Every April, Rachel and I would visit my wife's grave. We used to visit a grandparents' grave too when my wife was still alive. My extended family was visiting, they'd join us. We clean my gravestone, bring food, and have a feast while catching up. It's our Nick and Mimi's honour we're dead. I'm sure other cultures have our own ways too. Right. I truly think continuing with tradition is something we do for ourselves though. To remember the deceased and all the reasons they matter to us. So except for weird and raised memory part, it sounds on par to me. The evidence for living to remember are dead anyway. You're right. Unless you believe in life after death, um, memories of us will not be dead. Exactly. It'd be great if we could all remember and help each other. But keeping track of any sort of history is a team effort. Since the best way to gain wisdom is to learn from the past, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. Speaking of gnome noms, that I guess so. What happened to him for all that? Oh, wait, did you rest him? Nope. Yeah. Huh. Are you gonna let them go? Uh, not necessarily. I've got no idea what I have to do. Right now, I'm just happy there's no ghost involved. Still, there's truly something else. Yeah, what a night it must have been. It is what it is. Hmm. What a big guy. Anything on your mind? Ah, no, nothing. Shame about the light of yours, though. Oh, yeah, it's probably busted, right? That's a thing. Works just fine, I'm in scratch. That thing blew up, didn't it? Like, the town. Heck, we went to bathe with sound effects and everything. Like I said, it still works fine. Don't know what else to tell you. You know what I think? Nope. It's haunted. No, it's not. I think it's definitely haunted. What are you talking about? White flame is a bit unnatural, I agree. Remember how you keep forgetting your lighter here? Hey now! Man's allowed to forget stuff as he gets older, right? As they're blowing up, I was probably a well-timed bad chemical reaction. Things really old after all. If that's the case, you want to stop carrying it around. Anyway, I believe you now, officer. No such thing as coincidence, indeed. I still think it's a ghost, though. Shut it, Andre. Shush. In any case, mystery solved. For now, at least. Hmm. Oh no, I think I have to go now. I didn't realise we missed a message early because we're so engrossed in your story. Sorry to watch off, I'll see you again next time. So, safe trip. Nice seeing you then, Andrew. Take care. Ah, let me move over there. You know what to ask me firstly. You want anything? I'm good. And one espresso for me, please. And one resting in my throat. Till then, bye bye.